My name is Johnny Stevens. I'm the executive director of the Halifax Pop Explosion, which is a new music festival. And new as in we present new music, not new as in we're, we're a brand new festival. We, we started in 1993, actually, uh, during the first Halifax Music Explosion, which was when <coughs> Sloan and Thrush Hermit and, uh, you know, uh, all these great seminal early 90s Halifax bands were getting signed to these lucrative deals. Uh, record contracts. Um, Halifax at that time was named the New Seattle, which was uh, you know synonymous with grunge and the explosion of, uh, of Nirvana. And uh, we've managed to keep the festival relevant and going and growing for 20 years. Uh, and I think that if you look back to who started the festival, really, you know, they would agree with me. They they had no business starting a festival. They were just people who were passionate about music and passionate about the scene in general and passionate about the fans and the bands and wanted to do something different in Halifax and uh, you know maybe go against the current trends of the day. You know, the, the festival itself is uh, is lean like we, we would probably choose to spend more money on talent on you know on booking bands that are going to appeal to a segment of fans than we would on buying, you know, advertisements. But it's not to say that it's, uh, you know, our marketing dollars or our, I guess our alignment dollars aren't going to a certain place. Um, we listen to our audience a lot. I mean, that's the, the main, the most important thing. We, we exist because they allow us to exist. Uh, so we listen to everything they say. We take it into, into consideration. And we start these great discussions around who the, you know, what the bands are that they want to see. and and we do everything we can to, to, to book that, but also to, to give them something, you know, to give them some experiences that they wouldn't normally, normally see. Um, you know, from a tactical standpoint, uh, we're focused direct to fan, I mean, really getting out to the audience. Uh, and our art director always said, like, we don't really do clever very well. We, we kind of just slug people over the head with, with, uh, with the message, which is, you're going to get a, a whole lot, a whole lot of music, and a whole lot of content, and a whole lot of experience uh, for very little. From a talk perspective, I guess, um, you know, I, I would speak to the passion of the people involved. And passion is so important in, in, in what you're doing. And, you know, because we're dealing with a sexy topic like music, it's it's easy to be passionate about a band or, or a collection of, of musicians. And, and, uh, or a concert or whatever it is, you know? Uh, but trying to find that passion when we're, you know, in the trenches of, of actually producing the event um, and doing the boring side and, and, and planning marketing, which is, you know, not always the most exciting thing, and writing copy and all that stuff. Uh, so, so being able to take the passion for, you know, the core event and, and the core of what we do and, and trans transfer that into the minutia of actually building campaigns and building events. I think that the grouping of speakers, the fact that it's condensed uh, and still really accessible uh, is, is a key piece. The fact that, uh, that it's not only the kind of evangelists of, of marketing but the consumers as well, people that are actually using those services would, would create a good, uh, a good cross section of, of you know, big dreams, but actual like this is you know what's actually achievable or attainable within the, the confines of a budget or or time or whatever that currency is. Um, yeah, and then just the you know co the content focus this year is interesting. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing uh, seeing more about that. I think these types of events are important. I mean, it's why why would someone come to my festival or conference? Why would they do that? Well, because it's. It's a, uh, first of all, you know, it's going to be entertaining, I'm sure. It'd be, I know my talk, I'm striving for the entertainment fact, the, you know, value. Uh, I think it'll be entertaining and informative uh, and inspiring, you know. Recharging the batteries and getting inspired is the key piece, you know. I don't go to see a band to learn how to play guitar. I go to see a band to be inspired to go and learn how to play guitar better or do whatever thing I'm interested in that much better. Um, that's why I go to events like this. That's why you know I, I speak at events like this because I always get challenged. I always get uh, shown a different side of an argument um, or a different way of doing things that, that makes me want to be better at what I do. I'm looking forward to seeing how 
uh, someone on that big a level. Like, I, I want to see how that relates to what I do. Um, we probably do things and approach things very differently, but there are definitely similarities in, in, in our approach to, to our marketing. Join me at the 2013 CMA Atlantic Marketing Conference on March 5th. I'll see you there.